The 1995 Hyogukin Nambu earthquake caused devastating damage to many structures, such as wooden houses, reinforced concrete buildings, bridges, and harbor facilities. Inspection of the conditions of structural destruction from the earthquake revealed that even structures that had been considered to be earthquake resistant were not necessarily safe when seismic motions exceeded original estimates. Until recently, specimens for testing were limited by the performance of the testing facilities. Tests were often conducted using scaled specimens. However, it is assumed that scale effect issues will arise due to distinctly different behaviors of destruction between scaled down specimens and full scale structures. It thus becomes necessary to review the methods that have been taken to assess the seismic resistance of structures. One resulting resolution is to study the collapse mechanism of full-scale specimens. Understanding the following three aspects is very important. A structure's collapse process, its earthquake resistance capacity, and the reason for its collapse. Investigation of the collapse mechanism using full-scale specimens enables us to introduce into structural design standards the concept of allowing some damage to structures, but no depth, under strong earthquakes. The testing facility for such epic-making research in earthquake damage mitigation is a three-dimensional full-scale earthquake testing facility nicknamed E-Defense. E-Defense, a three-dimensional full-scale earthquake testing facility, is located in Miki City, Hyogo Prefecture, adjacent to Kobe, the city that suffered profound damage in the Hyogoken Nambu earthquake. E-Defense comprises four major facilities. The experiment building with a shaking table. The hydraulic unit building that houses the accumulators that power the reproduction of earthquake motions as well as gas engines that constitute the power source. The operation and measurement building that controls the movements of the shaking table and acquires and stores test data. And the preparation building that is used to assemble and prepare the specimens for testing. The three-dimensional shaking table that can reproduce seismic motions is installed in the experiment building. The size of the shaking table is 15 meters in the X direction, 20 meters in the Y direction. It has a maximum loading capacity of 1,200 tons. Enormous power is required for the shaking table to be capable of destroying full-scale structures. To supply this power, five actuators are installed in the horizontal X direction. Five in the horizontal Y direction. and 14 in the vertical Z direction, bringing the total number of actuators installed in the table to 24. 
The 10 horizontal actuators and 14 vertical actuators are able to produce motions that are nearly identical to the actual ground motions of earthquakes. As for performance, horizontal displacement in both the X and Y directions is plus or minus 100 centimeters. Horizontal velocity is 200 centimeters per second and horizontal acceleration is 0.9 g's. Vertical displacement is plus or minus 50 centimeters. Vertical velocity is 70 centimeters per second. Vertical acceleration is 1.5 g's. This facility is the largest of its kind in the world and can produce seismic motions that easily surpass that of earthquakes in the seismic class of the Hyogoken Nabu earthquake. The hydraulic unit building has four 4,300 horsepower gas engines that serve as the power source for the three-dimensional shaking table as well as 20 accumulators. First, the four gas engines are operated to send oil into the accumulators. Following this, the nitrogen gas of each of the 20 accumulators can be pressurized up to a maximum of 20.6 megapascals. The shaking table is rocked when the pressure built up in these accumulators is relayed to the actuators. This makes it possible to successively reproduce ground motions with a Japanese seismic intensity of seven which was observed in the Hyogoken Nambu earthquake. The shaking table is controlled in the operation and measurement room. The system includes a shaking table control system, which makes it possible to simulate various seismic motions that have actually occurred in the past or can be assumed to occur. Sensors with 896 channels can be mounted, enabling large quantities of test data to be processed. An image recording system is also incorporated. By installing fixed cameras to take videos of the exterior of the specimen, as well as embedding small cameras inside it, multi-angled images of the specimen can be taken and stored. The preparation building is used to assemble and prepare the specimens for testing. This is a 150-ton crane used to assemble the specimen. Various other jigs are also available in this building. In order to fully utilize the characteristics of the shaking table, E-Defense has been equipped with a control system, numerical simulation, an earthquake motion database, and a network system. As a result, at E-Defense, wooden houses, reinforced concrete buildings, bridges, storage tanks, and soil foundation systems, as well as various other types of specimens, can undergo three-dimensional testing for full-scale verification of the collapse mechanism and other matters related to seismic resistance technology. E-Defense has opened its doors to not only research organizations in Japan, 
but also to those organizations overseas. It is an international research facility that has gained global attention. E-Defense offers an ultimate verification for a broad range of research and development and will contribute to breakthrough research in earthquake disaster mitigation technology. The Hyogo Earthquake Engineering Research Center of the National Research Institute for Earth Science and Disaster Prevention is collaborating with research organizations in both Japan and other countries as well as engaging in research that aims to fulfill the dream of mankind, to learn how structural damage from major earthquakes can be reduced. <laughs>